Hey everyone, today I'm going to tell you the truth about the budget PCP air compressors. With that said, I am also going to tell you things to watch out for so you can avoid the hassle and trouble with your compressor while filling your air guns. Now there are two types of HPA compressors out there on the market. First being the oil and coolantless one which are air cooled and are the most popular then there are compressors that take oil and coolant which people tend to avoid these days because they require a cooling tank and aren't as portable or convenient man I could take my air compressor anywhere and plug it in a wall or a 12 volt vehicle and fill up an air gun Woo! Now in this video, I'm going to share what happens when you only use a oilless and coolantless compressor over a long period of time. The oil and coolantless compressors don't last very long. The temp gauge does not accurately read the internal temp of the moving parts, only being air cooled and they burn up faster requiring repair or replacement. So you're telling me that this is giving you an actual accurate temperature reading just by sticking it right there? That's not even inside the pump. As most brands only have a one year warranty on their compressor and then offer an additional warranty for more money. And the question is why do you have to pay for an additional warranty? Because the actual manufacturer knows that it'll break down sooner than later. And good luck getting replacement parts. Because they're not meant to be repaired, but replaced. As I have additional evidence to back this claim up, due to the manufacturing cost of these units being a small fraction, as much as they charge the U.S. consumer, they're not going to waste time working on or repairing these units which is why the extended warranty is only around the $50 price point for a certain amount of years and why you don't see refurbished units for sale meaning they're robbing you blind well my first PCP air compressor didn't even last six months and that's $200 down the drain and if I actually had to pay for the GX compressor which at the time I think it was 350 that's 350 out of my pocket so that's over $500 right there in just air compressors, guys. When I've had the Yong Hang going on for two years now and not one single issue with just airing up an air gun. How about that? Crazy, ain't it? Another problem that is unforeseen with this style of air compressor is the fill whip is too short, causing a lot of water condensation build up in the system, which can get in your gun and cause valve lock, air leaks, and loosen fittings making your air gun inoperable. Not again, are you kidding me? My degas screw is leaking again. I have had first hand experience using these compressors for over two years, every day. And many shooters have reached out to me asking about what is happening to their PCP air guns of various makes and models. And I've also been told by the Air Venturi Tech team Avengers were being sent in for repair because of air leaks. But once they received the gun in the shop and made sure everything was tightened, the air cylinders held air with no problem. But with further investigation, the purchaser used a oil and coolantless air compressor with a short fill whip, which caused the fittings to loosen and seals leaking. I alerted Air Venturi of my findings and they verified it in email. With sharing all this information, it comes down to these compressors being disposable, convenient, and just a quick money grab from China unless you know there are spare parts available and the actual manufacturer response to your emails 
and GX hasn't responded back to me since October asking for a seal since I've used their compressor every day since December 2021. So around nine months of continuous use. Another thing is, most if not all, the budget-friendly Chinese compressors are the exact same manufacturer, just rebranded or renamed. That's why similar models are around the same price point. They're getting your money no matter what. And some of the name brand compressors are just marked up Chinese versions. Hots and Spark being one of them. Now I know that's a lot to take in, but if you want your compressor to last as long as possible and your air gun doesn't occur problems, here's how to do it. Number one, get a slightly longer fill whip. Shorter whips that come with compressors get too hot causing water condensation. In line while filling your air gun, even with inline filters. And adding more filters can do more harm by restricting the flow of air through the whip causing even more unwanted heat due to the output volume of the compressor. Number two, keep your gun higher than the air compressor while filling so only air gets in the air gun and not water. Number three, don't use this type of air compressor with air guns that have large cylinders or bottles as the compressor will strain trying to add air due to its output rating fighting the volume of the bottle or cylinder causing wear and tear faster and avoid going to the max fill PSI of the compressor which is just over 4,000 because more condensation will be created the hotter the air gets as we know higher pressure creates more heat and heat is not good on o-rings or seals now for additional evidence about these compressors not being meant for repair but replacement I should have caught on to this but I wanted to give the benefit of the doubt now after my email to GX in October of 2022 with still no response about a seal kit or repair kit here's how my experience went from the start of working with GX so I got contacted by GX to review the CSX-1. No big deal, I agreed to it. Well, when I got the first unit delivered, it didn't work. And that should have been a red flag right there. Meaning they didn't check it before they sent it to me. And it was either in the same box from China, or reboxed and renamed here on US soil for US consumers and Amazon. So I contacted them and they had me do a couple of checks showing them that the air compressor did not function. So they sent me another unit without shipping the inoperable unit back to them. Now hopefully you guys are up to speed as you can see why I said that. And when I received the second unit, it worked fine. And at the time, I didn't want to work on a broken down compressor, especially around Christmas time of 2021. I had other important things to do, obviously. As time went by, I finally tore the compressor apart. And what it was, was a one-way valve that got seized up, not allowing airflow. So I got it in working order, and I sold the other compressor that worked properly. And it's been working ever since October of 2022, when my degas screw seal went bad. Well everyone, I hope this video opened your eyes about using this style of compressor. Even though they seem budget friendly and convenient at first, all they do is keep costing you money in the long run. And more time. And my time is very valuable the older I get. Even though I am very mechanically skilled when I need to be. So I appreciate the support as always and I hope to see you guys on the next one.